<laughs> Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Saturday webinar with Jim Charles. We are from Human Colony. Today is the 19th of August, 2017. And we have in the room with us, we have Angie, Dawn, Eva, and her daughter, whose name I don't know, but her da lovely daughter, uh, Jim, uh, Lila, Marlene, Max, Celeste, Sheer, and myself. So welcome everyone. We are living, uh, streaming live on YouTube. So uh, Jim, who do you have in your room? I have Angie and Barb and Miriam from Switzerland and Ray. Oh, well, welcome everybody over there. Max has some announcements before we get started. So Max, why don't you take it away? So yeah, that's the first time we do the webinar after the workshop. And the workshop was a big pleasure. It was first workshop we organized of that kind. And then and we already scheduled and prepaid for the house, Airbnb house in Sedona for the next workshop. It will be from... Um, February 1st to February 6th, five nights. And we'll post the participation and payment links um, soon, maybe in a couple of weeks, so be prepared. So it is gonna be in Sedona uh, in half a year, February 1st to February 6th. And the next workshop we are planning in the same place, same time in, in August. It will be August around 3rd to August around 8th in uh, Danceville, New York. That's all. You have a wow. sequel event. It'll be the sequel. Mm -hmm. Part two. Yes. Awesome. A lot of blinking going on on the screen. Oh. Just one Go thing. On. Max, uh, Katy, Carrie Atwood is trying to get in, and she's a paid member, but she cannot mm -hmm. get in. Uh, can you send her uh, the link? I can, but she's... Okay. I'll ask her to check your email. She, if she is a paid member, she would get your email. So ask because her to check she her. said that she gets information uh, that the workshop is full. So I don't know. Oh, if it's full, it's full. I'm sorry. Wow, it's only 10? There's oh. only 10 in the room, so it shouldn't be full. No, it should, if it, we did a 25. I guess, I guess you logged in as, as a, from different account. Yeah, that's oh. all we can do. Okay. Let's keep going. We're okay. live now. All right, perfect. So um, I'm, Jim, I'm stepping out now, so she tell her to join now in a second. Okay. Okay. So uh, Jim, who is coming through today? You said Elijah is going to come through. Elijah was the only one I know of. If anyone wants to make any requests, they may do so. For others that might want to come through, but I know Elijah is coming. Anybody mm -hmm. else? Sasquatch. Somebody asked for a Yeti or a Sasquatch. Okay. Somebody who does Arcturian healing. I would love some Ar Arcturian nerves healing. I'm going to turn going the camera around. Oh, okay. Arcturian healing? Yes. Arcturian. Remember the, the lady healer? She was, like, amazing. Okay. Thank you. I, okay. Andorians also was mentioned. Andorians. A-N-D-O-R. But do you, I don't know, the, the lady who did the healing of nerves with uh, sounds during the yes. workshop, this was like, I, I just, I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> really, really. So I, if I could get anything of that sort, it would like. Okay, do you know her name? Do you know her name? Something starting F, I think. Faya something. Do, do you remember? I don't know. She, I was not aware was of one of these people in the workshop. I mean, anybody remember her name? Do you remember her name? Okay. No, I'm trying to figure. All right. Out. Very good. We'll we'll call someone for Pandorian healing. Okay. Okay. We'll see if anyone comes. Okay. Perfect. All right, well, Jim, uh, whenever you're ready, if we want to, if you want to start, do we want to start with a blessing or? Yes, does yes. anybody um, want to start? I actually have a request. Sorry for interrupt. Who, what's your uh, request, Cher? Anyone from an L Collective, one of the seven L Collectives. Maybe okay. The Aliyin. The Aliyin? Yeah, they never spoke to public, and I meant to speak, uh, to speak with them for a long okay. time. Maybe. Okay. The L Eve. Okay, I'll remember that. 
Okay. Did anyone want to do a blessing? Anyone want to? Okay, Angie wants to do one here. Okay, perfect. Anyone in the in the room? Anybody else? I'll do one at the end. Okay, and Barbara okay. wants to do one. Okay, at the end, Barbara said one. She just wants to do it at the end. Yes. Anybody on the line want to do one? Okay. Why don't we start in your room, and then we'll just go straight to you then. Okay. Take, take it away. What would this what did this this Ian wasn't ya as a quad out as one what why it what now I see that was through the centuries there has always been light but now it is settled in your place the light must rise the light must become a greater filter in the universe from your place and it is that it is that time will see this as a positive but we are helping to pray for the light to come forth. But as of yet, it is not at its fullness. Thank you. Any, anyone else? Yes, I would love to do a blessing. Okay. Go ahead. No, oh, Miriam is doing a blessing. Isa ya nata ya kora natu ya wa ya ana seta u ya na se i ya kata numa ya sate wana era kato ya suna wa kera na wa ya ya kato ura na she na we ya matu ya kata era neva e na ho ya ta kaya seva ura kasa. Yea, and I say to you. This is a time of great change and a time of great love and differences will be healed. But also the separation will become greater between the positive and the ne negative. But many will awake in this time and choose their sides. Make sure that you are on the right side and that light is your guide and your redeemer as such. Thank Any you. more? Barb, one more? Okay, we'll do one more here and then we'll be off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Set your hearts always in a state of prayer, always in a state of positivity moving forward. Make sure that you are dwelling in the right places with the right peoples so that you may move up and be forward moving. Always keep the heart in prayer. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, good morning, everybody. And... Um, uh, there is something here, though, that I'm feeling a little tens yes, tension today. To and, and so uh, I'm going to uh, pray for, a, uh, do a little meditation, and then I'll bring whoever wants to come first in. Perfect. Thank you. And actually, somebody else came in. Who was that? Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Jamie is also here. Welcome, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Silence.
Greetings, I am Elijah, and I have a message for you today. There are many of you out there searching for guidance, for a way to move forward. You are searching and not finding it, and there are many reasons why. So I am here to shed some light on your longing, to shed some light on why things are not happening as quickly as you might want them to be. There are those out there that see things that they want in the way of gifts. They see things in the way they are living that they want to change. However, they are remaining dormant. They're really not changing anything. The negativities in their lives or the surroundings that they live in have not changed. You must make the changes. No one else can make the changes for you. God wants you to move up into the world, into your missions, but you have to facilitate that yourself by getting rid of the negativity, forgiving the sins, knowing what is truly yours as far as gifts are concerned, bringing the things to you that you need to move on in your mission. Many of you said, I have tried everything, and I still haven't moved forward, and I am still working on trying to find how to do what I need to do. Perhaps it's not your time yet. Remember to have patience. Remember that things cannot happen before their time, and sometimes people want to push and be somewhere they should not be too early. Remember. Pray and give thanks that your mission will start when it should. Many are waiting for their missions to start, but it is not time yet. The world is waiting on some things to happen. The world is waiting on experiences of its own so that you may start. Because if you start early, the meaning will be lost. But if you start at the right time, the words will be heard, the spirit will be felt, the understanding of all things will come as it is supposed to come. But remember this, in the meantime, as you are waiting, shed the negativity, do introspection, forgive those around you, be the example that you should be, love unconditionally, these are some of the things that are necessary for your mission to be as truthful as possible. You see many out there that have started their mission early because they had some kind of means to, and what is happening? The information is not quite right, or there is something not resonating with you when they speak, and so their mission, there is something there that is not quite fulfilled with their mission, and they need to work on that because they need to be a pure when they speak. They need to let the spirits come in purely, the aliens come in purely, and speak as they should speak and not put their own identity on it, or they should have the right intention as well. Some are wanting to be popular. Some are wanting the money. Some are wanting gain over the spiritual result. You see, that is a wrong priority. The priority should be of the spirit of the truth, of the communication of purity, to move forward with what God wants you to do. If that's technological information, so be it. If it's spiritual information, so be it. If it's um, alien communications to earth, so people will be understanding them greater before they come, so be it. But do not use the wrong intentions for your move forward. You see, only with the right intentions will the information come the way it should come. With only the right intentions 
will you be able to know true prosperity in the way that it is supposed to come from God and from the universe. You will find that you are rewarded for doing the right things, for being in the right intentions, for looking in the right directions. Look inside yourself. Why is it that you want to do the things that you do? Why is it that you want to heal? Why is it that you want to be a channeler? Why is it that you want to be an empath? Why is it that you want psychic energies? Is it for your own personal gain? It could be. And that is very human and very, very much a part of who humanity is. But remember this, put God in front of that. It could be for your own personal gain, but put God in front of that. Say, you know, I would like this for some notoriety, some thought process, but I want you to control all the messages because God must control it. And he will bring you into a place of humility when working with him because that is how he works with humanity. Oh, he will lift those up and they will be proud and speak very loudly and maybe have a good message or two. But if God is not in the center of all they do, then they will not go forward. There will be a point where they will stop. There will be a point where they will run out of information. They will run out of spirit. They will run out of drive. It just is the way that it is. If he is put first, then the drive continues. The spark is sparked. The flame is burning and gets brighter. And you will benefit. You cannot help but benefit with working with God. Working with him is a great benefit and he will teach you many things about yourself, and you will be enlightened and grow in wisdom and understanding. Because wisdom is sometimes something that does not seem quite right, but in the end is the ultimate test of truth. Sometimes our truth seems very logical, and God's truth does not. But do not be put down by that. You will dis discover that when he speaks, and even if it doesn't make sense, just like when he spoke to Abraham and Sarah and said that in their old age they would have a child. Who would figure that a man of in his 90s or maybe 100 would have a child with his wife of the same age? Does not compute but it is within God's wisdom that this happened. And you may doubt it, and you may push it aside, and you may say whatever you want about it, but when God declares it, it is true. When Solomon had to decide which mother was greatest, I've used this example before, but one was a mother and one had stolen the child, and they both came before the king and said, the, both mothers said, it's my baby. And so he took the child and said, all right, we will divide the child in two so that each can have half. But the true mother said, oh, no, no. She did not want her child to be divided. Give it to the other woman. And that is how Solomon knew the true mother of the child. But did that sound logical to you to divide the child in half? But it sometimes God's wisdom does not sound logical, but it will come to a sound conclusion. Oh no, don't be don't be 
set aside by those that try to fast talk you or con you, you will know that resonation. You will know that they are what they are trying to do because the truth is not there. And if you are of God, you will know the truth. You will know the truth. So therefore, be wise. Although wisdom is also sometimes logical and beautiful and all these things, but some of you will come up against some things that are not logical that God is telling you that he wants you to do. But you must do them anyway, even though they may not make sense at the time, they move you forward. Does that make sense? My love for you is great. And God's love for you is also great. And for you to find your way, you must take out the things that are necessary. Forgive those that you have not forgiven. Find the enough knowledge and understanding. Practice your energies every day until the time comes where you are lifted up and you say, how is that going to be? There's no place for me to go unless I stand on a corner and preach. But that is not so. Opportunities will come for you when the time is right. So be patient, my children. Be patient and love God. For he is there to help you on your way, in the correct time, in the correct way, in the correct bringing out of the talents that are truly and purely yours. Is there any questions? Are there any questions in the room? My, you've you, you, you silent. silenced everyone. I have a question. <clears throat> yes. Okay. Uh, uh, Elijah, uh, your words are so healing and so true. And infinite thanks for your wisdom. It's very Thank touching. Thank you, and much thanks for the, all the work that you do as well. Your preparation is great, for the next life will be a time of great challenges, but of great reward as well, of great opportunities that you will take. Be aware of all the things around you at all times, for you are growing and your eyes are gathering information all the time. Your love is undying for those that have helped through many generations and many lifetimes. This will be rewarded as well. You know, I have, uh, could, I, could you access insect toys who I am healing at this point? And do they have a message? Yes, they have a message. They hear what you are doing, and there are others that are joining you with this healing process. Wonderful. I am really happy because we have to learn, all of us, to unite in love. Doesn't Correct. matter. The, yes, so that is what I am actually practicing. Just uh, heal those who nobody wants to heal. <laughs> yeah. So that there, is. There are many prejudices out there still, even in the community of unconditional love, so to speak, because there are fears. You see, fear is a destroyer. Fear is an uneducator. Fear pushes you away instead of draws you in. When people see fear in you, do they want to follow you? No. When people see fear in you, do they want to listen to you? No, they want confidence, they want truth, they want what is real. And fear is a disguise to those who do not want to show their true face. And do not be one of those, dear children, that lets everything frighten you, that you are being afraid of everything. The message of this day and age is to 
let fear pass and to be the courageous person and show the true light that is within you. Fear blocks the light away from your face. If you are speaking to someone and you are not a lit with God's joy and power and truth, then all they can see is just another face. But if you take the fear away and take all the petitions away that hide the flame that is within you, then they will see that example, the truth that is something that they would want to be a part of, something that draws them in, the truth, the love, the joy. That is what you are an example of. And if you are not that example, find a way to shed that negativity that blocks that example. Thank you. Um, Eva has a question. Yes. It's actually Chloe. Oh, okay. Oh, Chloe well, has a question. <laughs> hi. Um, Hello. I was... I was just wondering by any chance, it's wonderful to speak to you, if I could just have, I guess, general advice on what to do in my life. Like, not any specific um, thing that's happening, but just general advice to move forward, maybe. I see where you are, and you're going through many changes right now. So you are wanting to know which direction is the right direction. As you make changes in your life, as you move forward, remember this, be yourself for one thing. Draw on God to help you with your problems for another thing. Make yourself unconditional love and you will move forward and even though there are those that might not want to receive that kind of information right now, it is the information that will make a change in everyone. Unconditional love changes the atmosphere, changes people, and changes you. When you learn how to love everyone that all alike, I'm not talking about passion, but I'm talking about in general, if you learn to love everyone the same and give them the same fairness, the same understanding, and when they speak negatively, you learn to accept that with love and return love for that. Because remember this, when they speak negatively, they're not speaking really of you, they're speaking of themselves. This is what is inside of them that is coming out, and they want you to identify with it so you can be more like them and they can be more on your level. But that is not what you want. You want them to identify with your unconditional love. You want them to un identify with your thoughts and your dreams. I do not know where you went. But I hope you are all right. Oh, I'm She's still, still here. Um, people, when you please come in the room, please make sure you're muted. But that just was someone coming in and out. No worries. Ah, very well. Mm. So you understand that the guidance I have for you is mostly to be yourself and pray that you are more and more like God. Not that you have to stop doing this or that or the other thing. God is not here to stop you from being yourself, but to provide freedom for the soul, for the way that you live your life. Not that you can't play cards or dance or whatever it is that they say you can't do, but resonate with it within yourself if it's right for you. Because each individual knows right and wrong instinctively but they let other people tell them what right and wrong is. Learn for yourself what is right for you and who you are. Don't let other people force you into a corner and say, this is what's right for you. You have to do this. You must do what is right for you. And that is my advice. Do what is right for you. 
do what is good for you, but not harming others. If what is right for you seems to be harming someone else, I would reevaluate that because what is right for people is usually right for people together. Right for people to join together and not in a selfish way, but in a selfless way where you can share yourself in a way that is kind and good. And you don't have to worry about hatred or dishonor because your courage is there to face it. You can face these negative things and say, why is it that you feel that way? Why is it that you must act this way? I just am curious because in my heart, you are love just as I am love, but yet you choose to bring out negativity or something else. I'm not judging you, but I want to know. I want to know who you are and why you are this way. And it's truthful that love will want to know the truth about everyone. They will want to know the deepest heartfelt desires and why there is so much disappointment and why there is so much deceit and why there are so many lies. Why, why, why? When love can overcome these things, and you should be brave enough to be able to tell the truth about yourself and about others without fearing someone coming after you or someone disliking you. But it does happen. And it is because, A, they may be jealous or envious of who you are because you can be yourself and be happy and be loving and kind, and they cannot at this time do that. But love them anyway. Your job is to be yourself. It is not your job to control anyone or any situation. God will do that through you. If you show your true light, he will control the situation as he sees fit. And if harm comes to you, then also glory comes to you. But he will keep you alive and he will keep you learning. But be brave, my children. Yes? Yeah. Yes, thank you. That's a beautiful message. Thank you, Elijah. Um, there's a question from the chat. It's actually from two different people, but it's they're very close together. So I'm going to combine them if that's okay. Um, that's Peter, uh, Pete says, I'm experiencing some kind of feeling that's very negative and I'm asking for healing. I, I'd like a heart healing. And then Zach says, I really have a hard time. He says, I really suck at loving and accepting myself. Any advice? I think they're yes. a bit combined. So These are the things that I am talking about. These are the things that stop missions. These are the things that stop all movement in your life. The reason why you feel this, these things is because you allow yourself to. Not that that is a bad, that you should be punished for that. Many people find that they feel that they are not worthy or that negativity comes to them because they feel, because they are open to it in some way. It is a curiosity, it is a mystery, it is a, a challenge for them. But let me tell you, my brothers that are there, these things God can relieve. Forgive yourself, Zach. You are wonderful, although you do not see that. Forgive yourself for anything that the past may have done to you or made you feel about yourself because it is not true. You are a child of God as much as anyone else. You are a child of God and worthy as much as anyone else. And if you need me to come and put my hand right on your heart, I will do so. 
because I want you to know that I love you and that I see who you are. And there is a mission there. And you must get rid or shed or bring in the light so that it will push out that which is not true for you. Feeling this way is not a truthful feeling. You are lying to yourself if you are not feeling worthy. You are lying to yourself if you feel that you are not a good person. You must move forward. You must accept that God loves you. And you must accept that he can move out negative energy, Pete. Peter. There is energy here for you. Positive and loving and good. Before this channel session started, there was entities here trying to make this being not want a channel today. Upsetting him, and he did not know why, but he said, I'm going to continue. God is here. God wants to speak. God is in the message, so I must let it go forth. And those of you that are around trying to stop it, I won't let you. Other people in this room also felt that energy, also, also felt that tension. But you know what? The truth comes forth, whether negativity wants it to or not. And I speak to the negativity in you and say this. Be gone. You do not belong in good people. You do not belong where you only are there to torture. Go to those that love you. If they love negativity, go to them. For you will have a home there and be relaxed. But with my loving children, God would say, let the negativity pass. Let love come in. Let me love you. And this may be actually making you feel even worse. I want you to respond now and tell me how you are feeling at this moment. Let them respond and let me know what they say. Have you, have they said anything? Uh, perhaps they will not respond. Looks like Karen left and those people were in the webinar uh, chat, so we cannot really access them. So maybe... I see. You uh -huh. see, they're stopping them from communicating with yes. the higher, higher positivity. They are blocking the higher positivity from them it's because the intercessor, the host was taken out of the room. Yes. But how negativity will try to work its way. But do not let it confound you or make you any less positive because we will continue in a great light no matter what. Your words are very clear and anybody who seek advice, it will understand very clear because the energy is powerful the words are very wise and we all can understand it just takes time to process but anybody can understand very clear your message it just takes time to it is time to process let me right. tell you something else that i was leading up to with all these things that i said about guidance and your mission and things of this nature there is no one really prepared to start their mission in some ways. There is always something coming at you. There is always things that are seem to hold you back. But let me tell you this. Many missions will start soon. Be ready. Keep yourself 
enlightened. Keep yourself looking at God's energy and love. Keep yourself as in tune as possible. For the time is coming very soon when many missions will start and they will start suddenly. Sometimes he does not give you weeks to prepare. He will give you a maybe a little time, but you will feel it coming. And it is soon. Wow. Oops, sorry. Okay. Um, Lila. Slava. All right. So, so I posted on the chat box. There was in the the one that was before, so everyone can come back. Yeah. Yes, we're off the air now. Yeah. So we'll start in just a second. I just want to send this to everyone. Again, like in, the, in the paid group. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll put it there also. So just get this other thing set. Okay. Well, now we're in a room for 20 too. So that should be, that'll solve all the other issues. Okay, great. Um, that'll be good. Yeah. Um, I don't know if Elijah will come back at this point, but... Okay. He was, well, you know, maybe whatever was said when we went off air was only for the people who were in the room. That's the way you got to look possible, at it. Well, you know? I think they, uh, someone wanted to stop that message. I've been feeling it from the very beginning. You said there was some negative energy, yeah? When you and we shut it. it, but well, then I will it came tell over you, and that, shut that you down. Was speaking directly to me. Um, uh -huh. I really, really heard you. So I heard them, Elijah. So Yes. Yeah. The important so I'm message. sorry I missed it. You <laughs> said it's very important. It was. It was uh, the message was about love. What he was. What Elijah no, was that. saying. Yeah. And, and I had the message, and he started to answer the other questions. I posted. Yeah. I said the question for the two people, and then it went down for me. So. Yeah, the answers was the same. What she, what he was saying before. The essence was the same. Okay, good. Do you want to go ahead and start? You ready to jump? Ready to go? Okay. Um, let me uh, give it one second. I have people in the bathroom and <laughs> okay. walking all around and all things. Right. So. Yeah, let me make sure my sound, because my sound's, a, I have two sound things happening here. Yeah, make sure okay. everything's cool and we'll read. We'll read. Okay. Establish it's there. Myself. All right. It's I think you're good now. Good. Yeah, I have, I have. Hi, Jim. How are you? Oh my gosh, you're loud. I'm good. I'm good. We just got back from the workshop not long ago. Did you enjoy it? How oh, did it go? I had a great time. It was very good. Good. How's Al feeling? He's good. He just started working. Again? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, he must be okay. happy to go back to work, though. I just want to get my yeah. settings done here. I just want to make sure my sound is coming through only one speaker and not through two. Alrighty. Oh, good. There's oh. more than Okay, that. I'm kind of, okay. Yeah, no, this is a 20 room, 25 room. So we'll be good on that that side as well. Okay. Alrighty, good. You, you ready, everybody? <laughs> Try oh, four more time. Wait, let me go ahead and give controls too, because- um, All right, go just, ahead. Just do that real fast. If it goes down again, the room doesn't obviously close, but the but the uh, thing no. only it won't go down again. No, but I'm just saying it doesn't. Don't worry uh, about that. I called in for some assistance. All right. Yes, perfect. that's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can everyone mute their mics then? <laughs> Sabrina, you laughy girl. How are you doing? Okay. Here we go. Yay, part two, here we go. Hi, <laughs> we're in part two. I was talking about a sequel earlier for the uh, upcoming uh, retreats, but we're gonna have a, a, 
we're going to have a sequel for this webinar. So here is part two of the uh, Huca Lowe Saturday webinar with Jim Charles. It is the 19th of August, 2017. We were hearing from Elijah when um, the video went down and I don't know who's coming back, if he's coming back or uh, if someone else is coming in, Jim. So I do not know, but All we'll right. see who comes. Okay. I think that, he, I don't think he's coming back actually. Okay. Um, I think somebody else will come, but I'm not sure who. We'll see who that is. Okay, so well, just everybody it's good uh, pre-eclipse energy, so. Yes, yeah. we have eclipse and This is pre-eclipse um, webinar, so there's a lot of energies moving, yeah. all different kinds of energies, so. Bring in the positive side of those energies and we'll yeah. move forward. And here we go. Awesome. I will do a meditation okay. and we'll see who comes this time. Awesome. Thank you. Much love. Much love. I am Tolska. Hello, Tolska. Welcome. Anyway, she's like. Hello again. I have come a long way to talk to you. Elijah was speaking about missions earlier, and I have a mission here as well. My mission is not the same as his, but it is almost as important, or equally important in many ways. I am coming to let humans know that aliens can be helpful. Aliens are part of your future. Aliens are part of who you are, as you also know. I am here to let you know that information about how to live a greater life can be received from aliens but not too far in advance that you would harm yourselves with the information. Tesla will be with me when I travel and he has greater information for the world. Information that's been suppressed by the governments and suppressed by those that would not want people to have free energy or uh, know about the things that could help them in their daily lives that are actually simply simple things but are very available to them my goal is to talk to you in a very calm way but to let you know that there is many things that are happening not only on your world but outside your world Please welcome me when I come. It is not yet my time to travel, but I will be traveling when God says it is the right time. Much love to you all. And I will bring someone else in now. I will only want to just talk for a few moments. But, uh, but if there is any questions, I will take them now. Does anyone in the room have any questions? I have a question. Okay. 
Yes. Um, hello and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I don't believe I've, I know anything about you. So, so can you tell us a little bit or what your role is on, on this? Um, how are you connected? The Pleiadians from Maya have a great responsibility with the Ascension here on earth. And I am from Maya. I was a prince there and I left my home to come to be, to be here with you so that I can help with your Ascension processes and to bring some information that may be needed to your people. There are many of my people from my planet now born into this society to help with the ascension process. However, not all of them are kings and queens, but many of them are very important and will help me to hold the energy on this planet. For this planet's timelines must stay intact. And at, as of recently, they have been shifting quite a lot. And this is something that concerns us. However, right now we are just preparing for our mission on this planet. Many things are happening and many things must happen before we are able to complete our mission. But I will let you know that we are from the Mayan planet Maya. And my name is Tolska'a there, which is the royal pronunciation. And I am only Tolska here because I am not royal away from my planet. But we are here to bring you information, understanding, confirmations, and a better way of life. Okay. So um, in terms of that, in what particular topic can the ETs in this sense that you're speaking of, can they help humans? As I was saying, there is technology that you do not have that's being withheld from you by your governments that is easy for you to make yourself and will be helpful around the homes. And also unlimited energy that can be, that can have you with energy without having to pay electric bills and things of this nature. But we will be coming at a later time. The time is not quite right for us to bring this information to you. Okay, so you will be bringing it directly to the people. Yes. And that would be after first contact? No. Oh, okay, but it will be, okay. It will be the way it must be and you will see when it happens. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sheer has a question. Hello, Tosca. Yes. Where to speak with you this way? I usually speak with David a lot. Yes. Uh, first of all, you said a prince. I'm pretty sure you are a king. Since my father has died, I am now going to be king when I return. But when I left, I was still a prince. I see. Um, I actually had a dream a while back that I do remember that I told David uh, it was during the sunset. And it's like hearing a YouTube channeling of him channeling you. And there was a red triangle in the sky. And we didn't know what the meaning was it, of it. Yes. Triangles are powerful. They are a universal symbol of power in many ways. The pyramids were born, were born from the triangle as well, but put into dimensions that were equally as important. So the triangle represents the energy and the power that is the calm, and the red is the fire and passion of God. I see. And do you have any message for David or something? I think he's trying to get in, but for some reason he can't. It is all right. My messages are private with him. 
Okay, well, it was very good to speak with you finally. It is good to speak to you as well. Much love. Don has a question. Don. Hello, Hello Tulska. This is Don. I would Great. like to know is there anything that we can do together uh, to stabilize this timeline? This timeline is not stable, as you know. And with all the different energy bursts, solar flares and solar winds, galactic energies that are around, it will remain a little unstable. But with the prayers of humans, with the energies of humans to Gaia, it does help stabilize it some. But we do not see any potential catastrophe with the timelines at this point but we just must keep them in order thank you okay Leela has a question thank you uh greetings i have two questions the last night i have a very powerful energetic dream but sadly i forgot <laughs> could you access that energy and tell me more about it? I cannot access your dreams from here, but I know that the powerful dream was about your next life and not this one. That I can tell you. Yes, because it was Ganesh involved, so that I remember in some powerful healing and symbols, but I was like, it was like very powerful that I woke up. <laughs> Yes, so that, they did not want you to remember everything about it anyway. Makes, it is makes not sense. yet time for those symbols to be used. You will dream Absolutely. of them again when it is right. Right. Uh, the next question, El Elijah was some time ago told me I will be contact with uh, from my culture to work in this life. Are you that person? Are you those people who are going to work with me in this life or... I misunderstood. Maybe somebody else no. is. We are the Mayan. We are the people from Maya. We are Pleiadians. It is from the Pleiadian systems. And so, therefore, if you are to work with us, it will happen. Okay. okay. Wonderful. So, thank you. You are welcome. Did anyone else have any other questions? Yes, this is Stephanie and Suzanne. I have a question, please. Yes. Okay. Hi, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Appreciate you coming to spend some time with us and share. Thank you. So my question is with regards to tomorrow's total eclipse. Is there, um, this apparently only happens uh, well, it happens infrequently. I guess it was a hundred or more years ago when it happened last. What can you tell us is significant about this by way of the energies and how they might impact us? First of all, the eclipse is on Monday, and tomorrow is Sunday. But Monday, I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> yes, the energies that are that come from a solar eclipse are very interesting and different. They are used by mystics and people of magic all over the world. And since this is a time when magic has been rekindled since September of 2015, I believe, or 14. Since that time, magic is growing stronger. So you will find that those that know about magic will be using this eclipse in their own ways for their own reasons some of them positive and some of them negative. But the energies of the earth will change during this eclipse and there will be events uh, that will happen because of it. Not only that, but on September 23rd, the alignments of planets is coming as well. So the energy between the eclipse time and the time of the alignment will bring many disruptive energies as you call them but they do not have to be necessarily disruptive to everyone but they will be disruptive in many ways to mother earth so i will try to help calm those as well
but the alliance of planets that will be occurring on September 23rd has not happened for many, uh, a couple thousand years anyway. I am not sure Is of your history. I was not alive when it once happened before, but I am aware that it is a very rare incidence, as well as this solar eclipse. The September 23rd date that you gave, is that um, when the Lionsgate portal around that time is su supposed to close or has some impact on things? The Lionsgate portal is something of, I cannot speak about it actually, but yes, it will be, there will be some, I'm not saying that it will close at that time, but it will be affected. Okay, thank you so much. Do you have any questions? Thank you. Uh, we have, uh, if you want to have a question, please put a one in the chat. Angie or Stephanie. Um, also, uh, the next person is Marlene. Thank you. What was the name? Marlene. Marlene, welcome. Tosca, uh, I'm happy to be here. Um, yeah. There is a very important mission uh, concerning uh, pyramids that is happening now uh, on the planet, which I'm involved with. And yeah. my first question, please, is what is my next step in regards to this project? Realizing where all the pyramids are, first of all. There's more pyramids than you may imagine. Some are buried and some uh, have been camouflaged in some way. Remember that the dimensions of the pyramids are very similar all over the world. And so therefore, especially the base, the base of the pyramid is very similar everywhere. And so concentrate on that as your, as one of the things to look at because it is important for future pyramid building, which will happen on this planet. So therefore, your next step is to, you have a great deal of understanding. I'm perceiving that right now. Which pyramid is calling you? Well, there are two. First, uh, the period of, pyramid of the sun. Uh, I feel there's much work to be done there. Uh, yes. any, guidance, any guidance you can give me, please? You are correct. The Pyramid of the Sun has some things that need reopened around it. There is vortexes, there's a stargate there as well. And yes. it is not, it's, uh, it's been in and out of repair for a while now. Yes. There is those that have repaired it and it, it is now out of repair once again. And so your work will probably be to re, once again repair the stargate and uh, build the vortexes around it because because the vortexes have gone low the energy in them the stargate failed so build the vortexes and then fix the stargate actually there's not much to do with that the vortexes are the most important part the stargate will start up again there will be need some adjustments Yes, um, I feel the vortexes are sp spinning in a, <laughs> in not a proper manner. Correct. You must um, correct. Um, is that in part due to a flock of humans that go there on a regular basis? It is not human energy that caused them to go bad, but it was reptilian energy from a while ago, not recent, that they came to try to stop it. So they tried to move the vortex in the opposite directions for purposes of their own. They, they weren't quite successful, but they did slow the vortexes down so they are not working properly. So we need to reactivate them and uh, get the power back on and stabilize. So Correct. that they're not... There are three of them in that area that were affected. Yes. Thank you. 
The other pyramid is the pyramid of um, the pyramid of the moon, and there's none of the, another one that is not yet uh, has not yet come out in uh, as being discovered. Correct. Which is a smaller one. Uh, any information on those, please? Yes, they're in a place I cannot tell you where they are because yes. I, as a alien, cannot lead you to discoveries. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you this, it's in a place that no one will look, and mm -hmm. it is in the United States. I'm sorry, your last uh, words were? It is in the United States. In the, uni in the United States, okay. Yes, because no one will look for it there. Yeah, of course. I understand, yeah. Um, my other question, if I may? Yes. How is your constellation related to this mission? And if so, how, please? My constellation? Well, I mean, I'm no. Not sure I'm sure if I understand I'm the question. The, I'm Pleiades, the, the Pleiades are related to this my mission in the sense that we were given responsibility many eons ago for the ascension of this planet in some ways. Not complete control. But in some ways, a greater control because of how we were to do it. We had the best idea of how to keep the flame burning. And so we were put in charge and we prayed to God that we uh, do a good job. Well, thank you so much for being with us, supporting us, sending us the, the energy that's needed. Um, especially when we're physically on the premises. Yes. Um, I will remember you. I will ask and call on you, if I may, and your peers. We are, we are many here, but some have not identified themselves as yet. Thank you very much for your answers. You're welcome. Thank you. Angie has a question now. Yes, Angie. Hello, Tosca. Nice Three. to meet with you. Yes. Um, I've been studying the mind calendar and I watch the energy waves. So you should be aware of the self existing, the white self existing wind and how that ties into my character so this is a personal question i have noticed and i've also asked many people about this that we have these antennas coming out of our, our penile gland some people don't have them developed and some people do I'm aware of them do I'm you aware have of any them. knowledge of them yes i am aware of them those that have the energy antennas, if you call them that. They are actually waves of energy that are attached to the pineal gland that, that give them extraordinary um, perception about certain things. They are there for certain reasons on certain people. They are not on everyone. They are only for those that are chosen to have them that may need them in the future for their mission. Okay, so yeah, I've been confused about this because I've got them and it, they seem to be tubular and in, also they seem to be able to, um, you're able to, how do I say, like mold them into uh, and, and, and take them in, like stay, they stretchy <laughs> in matter, in, in, I don't know, this is in the light body i think so yeah it's, it's difficult energy. to explain yes they they look tubular but they're energy and they can expand and they can move okay. uh they are they are there for a specific purpose and when they do expand it is to bring in more information now you may not be aware of all the information it goes to the subconscious for when it is needed but you will have that total recall when necessary all right well, thanks for that. I find this so fascinating. The whole mind culture is very much, I feel I feel so connected to it. Yes. It's close you are to very my heart. connected to it yeah. with more than one lifetime. 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, these things are opening up, I think, for all of us. Thank you so yeah. much. It's been a pleasure talking to you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Blessings. Okay, um, the next person is Angie. I mean, excuse me, April. Sorry, that was Angie. April. Yes, yes. Do you hear me? Are you there? Yes. April. I cannot hear her. Is she speaking? I don't hear her speaking. Are you speaking, April? Yes. Okay, let me see if I can turn her up. Speak a little louder and get right in your mic because we're having a hard time hearing you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> She's very soft. Yeah. I wanted to ask about my mission and how it's going and what direction you might now, you're, suggest. You wanted to ask about your mission and how it's going? Yes. All right. I can tell you this. Your mission has started. You have a different kind of a mission than other people, and you realize that. Um, your mission is going well, but uh, keep on it. Keep remembering that it is a different kind of mission because sometimes you can get distracted from this kind of a mission fairly easily. Um, but continue to move forward, it will get stronger and the mission will actually change at some point to actually become a little more powerful in its in, as, it, um, as it grows, it, it will involve more people. So I will keep an eye on that, but you're doing fine. Thank you. Blessings. Blessings to you. Okay, I believe Stephanie had a question. Stephanie. Um, I had already had a chance to ask mine. Thanks so much, Karen. Oh, okay, sorry for that. Sheer has a question. Sheer. Hello. Greetings again. Greetings again. Um, I want to ask you something. It seems that every year there's some sort of an event that have a greater energy. For example, 2015, we had the blood moon, and then we had the energy cloud. Now we have like that eclipse to 2023, and it seems that there are always stuff like that. What is the most powerful of them all? And what can we expect for the next like 50 years? What is going to be the strongest event? I believe this September 23rd event will be a strong, the most strongest constellational event. It has much meaning and it brings forth good against the evil. It will, if you read Revelations 12, you will see that, uh, well, you will not see unless you study it, that the constellations are aligned according to this part of the Bible. It is unusual that the Bible would be so accurate, but in this case, it is very accurate on that particular alignment. You, you, there is something online, I believe, about the September 23rd alignment, and they explain how these things are aligned and why they find it so fascinating. But it is a prophecy, and a prophecy does have great energy, and this will have a great energy. I see, and does it have something to do with the fact that most of the predictions are about uh, first contact somewhere between 20 uh, 2022? It has something to do with that? No, it has something to do with good against evil and what will be happening politically on your planet. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
but right. also spiritually. <laughs> I shouldn't just say politically, but the spiritual ramifications are very high because the angels will be fighting the demons, if you will. Um, when you say the demons, is the it negative. something... Huh? Angels will be fighting for the earth. Again, something that should not be said? Against the negative beings that are represented in this prophecy. Okay. Okay, I understand you. Thank you. Yes. There's a question from in the chat. It's from Wendy, and she's saying... Uh, what is the capacity? She wants to know what is the capacity that she is working. Uh, the, someone she says, can someone ask? And I guess that's me. What capacity she is working in, and what ro her role is? Excuse me, sorry for the confusion. That she must discover because intro there are many things going on around her. <laughs> she is in the midst of a lot of different changes right now, and she's being purified to fit into a role. Now it is up to her to finish that purification or let it happen or let it become what it should be. So I cannot tell you the future on that one, but I can tell you that you're in a, in a time of change and purification, a time when things will start to work more in your direction, but you have to let the purification continue. Thank you for that. Thank you. Did anyone else have a question for Tolska? Uh, Don has a question. Don. Hello, Tolska. I would like to ask you a question. Uh, I placed containment around the asteroid belt last May to stabilize the solar system. I wish to know, are the walls of light stable? At this point, they are, yes. But there are, do you realize how many asteroids have fallen since then? Great I deal. Know. Yes, I know. Uh, I, I know. With, but the thing is, they were guided to do so because there was many ships that were hidden inside the asteroid that rained down. And so it gave them a closer look at the planet and gave them a closer uh, sensibility to the earth and that's what they wanted we're so the, the, yes what you have done is fine it is very stable at this time what the asteroids that did fall were meant to fall because they were put in a energy beam to go the way they did okay thank you very much Bless you're me. welcome and thank you for your work Uh, Amanda has a question. Yes. Amanda. Hello. Can I be heard? Yes. Great. Um, I would just like to get any kind of clarity as to the nature of my mission, if I have one. I know it's not the same as everyone else here, and sometimes I struggle to find what it is that I do. Everyone has a mission of some sort. You may think, well, I don't but you may be on a mission to hold light. You may be on a mission to be a healer of just Mother Gaia and the universe and things of this nature. Do not feel that your mission is slight or little because all the missions that are given have great meaning and everyone is needed to keep things in balance and in check. Your mission, I believe, has yet to come to you. There are things within you that are yet to open. You have been working on yourself and your spirituality, but you need to remember that those around you affect you as well. So make your space truly pure and forgive those that are around you and forgive yourself. I see that you have a bright light and that you have do a lot of good things uh, but I cannot tell you what your mission is but I can give you a hint that it is not a, not a little mission and it is not one to be taken for granted 
Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. There's uh, a question within the room here. Sure. Mm-hmm. What is it? Please come. Tosca, Barbara, how you doing? Hello. Hello. Do I have a mission that in the future that will be working with extraterrestrials? You are already working with extraterrestrials. Yes, yes your your mission is to make them welcome. And you have already done that. You are already working with the, a couple. There will be more. And they will be friends of your friends. But the thing is about your mission is that you will be holding light for them as well. Because there will be a time when there will be some danger for them. And you will be able to save them with the light that you give them. And the opportunity to hold on to that energy that you will give. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, there's a, there's a question uh, in the chat. It's from Omran, and uh, the question is: I feel like I can take down leaders of dark beings on Earth as some kind of assassin. Is that true? I would not call it an assassin. You are not killing the energy. Yeah. You are moving it. You are sending it to some other place. Negative energy is not always destroyed, but it moves on and it's sent to other places. It may look like you are destroying it, but it appears in another dimension, another time space. So therefore, it is equal to what it always was. But sometimes more negative energy is in one place than in another. So you might be looking at sending more away. You do have a great energy for relieving areas and spaces and people of dark energy. Continue. But remember this. There will always be, it will always be there in some place. Perhaps you sent it out of the universe. That would be a good thing. But perhaps you just sent it to the next dimension, which is all right as well. The thing is about this, Amran, is that you create the space the pure space so that others may work and that you may work in this space. And that is what is necessary at this time. Clearing the space so that work can be done for positivity. Thank you. Also, um, one thing is, uh, Laini says hello to you. Laini, Uh, greetings. And the other question is from Jakey Boy. Uh, He said he wonders why he's having trouble channeling currently. Um, even though he's new to trans-channeling. It's Jake from the Dansville Workshop. Ah, Jake, I know who you are. And don't worry about having trouble. Just let it flow. It will happen in its own time. I do not know if you heard the message from Elijah earlier, but there, there are times that are right for these things. Continue to clear yourself. Keep yourself cleansed and purified. Keep your, uh, forgive all those that are around you. Uh, Bring in the positivity. It will happen at the right time. Do not say that you are having trouble channeling because uh, negativity will not help that. The word troubled is sort of a negative word. So say that it has just not happened yet, but it will. Be positive, be sure, be certain. Oh, and I see who wants to channel with you. That is very good. They need a voice in this on this world more than that, what they have, and that is good. So do not distrust yourself, but perhaps the time is not quite right for you. Be patient. And we know that you will because it is to be. Thank you. Um, I, I have a question, if I may. This is Karen. Yeah. Um, I had a, a dream. Uh, well, it was a, it was a communication uh, last week on uh, Sunday morning, and as I <laughs> and as I woke up, um, my alarm was going off, and I knew I had to get up. And I was speaking to this being, and she said, "Well, you just stay asleep and continue talking to me." And I said, "Okay, but you have to wake me up in ten minutes." Then, and she agreed to do so. But her name was Ria. Uh, she was Yael. And what she said to me was, um, we are, 
we are current we are currently uh, putting our emissaries in place so that every race will be represented on the planet. And she and she wanted specifically to uh, introduce herself to me, and uh, I believe that I'm going to start channeling her, but I, I don't know for sure. I don't know if you know anything about that. Yes, I do. What, I know what she's talking about. There's many alien-born humans right now. That means that they are coming to the planet and being born as humans. You may say, how do they do this? It is what I did. And you leave your planet and your body behind, and you make uh, certain technological advances to do so. And this is what's happening now. There are many alien born humans and they are balancing themselves throughout mankind because they need to hold the energy for the, the world hmm. okay thank you um the next person is uh, lila she has a question uh hi i'm i'm i met an interesting person a few months ago he's also in the spiritual group in hukolo or he was in the past his name is guru dan and i'm wondering about uh if it's possible to see for you our past connection and how our energy together uh works if we can be a good uh, team doing some healing or whatever we Yes, we should do. I already know about who that is, yes, and I know who you are. There were many past connections with him, and they were all about, he was a priest uh, with you and in some past lives. I'm not sure, uh, I'm not, I, it's hard to do this through another person, so, but I know that he was a priest and you were also a priest with him in the particular life that is coming to me but yes the energy that you both have is very strong his can reach very far at this time in the next life your energy will also reach as far as his and you will work together in some way in the next life as well thank you and yeah. then uh... yes I have a question. Yes, it's April, correct? Yes. Thank you. Uh, I have three cat companions. I can hardly hear you. Can you speak up? I have three cat companions. Ah, yes. And the youngest one has the kindest, sweetest personality. And the other two cats smack her around every time they see her or she gets near them and i was wondering what those energies are that are in her or in them that are causing that behavior i see what color is she she's gray and black gray and black and what color are the other cats black black with white i see one moment please she does have she doesn't have an unusually strong energy it's not a negative energy but it is an energy that is dominant it is a controlling energy and she can manipulate the other cats if she wishes to and so, therefore, do, do they choose not to be around her? Is that what you said? Yes, and they slap her when they get near her. Well, they do not like it that she can do this. And so they fight against it. But it's not her fault that she has this energy. But it is a strong energy that she has and always has had. I believe that in her last life, she was not a cat, but she was something. A dog. What? She was a dog. She's a dog? She was, yes. And, oh, yes, correct. They, she has dominant energy. She was not an animal in the last life. 
That's all I can see right now. Oh, thank you. And I thought she was a dog. Ah, all right. That wanted it's to hard to hear you. you, so I am not sure what you say. But um, yes, I understand that now. Okay, thank you very much. Um, I don't, is there any other questions in the chat? Because I don't see any. And it is time for me to leave. All right. I just had one question, if I may, please. Yes. Um, I keep having, uh, getting a lot of predictions in my dreams. Um, predictions? Yes. Um, and a lot of them are happening. So I'm just trying to figure out what am I supposed to do with the information? I mean, I send light and prayers, but I don't know what else to do. They are there to protect you. Not everyone will believe your predictions, but you they are true. They are there to keep you safe. Okay. You have an, a mission, and the, it is to keep you and your family and those around you safe. And you can see what I am talking about. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, some of these are more world events. Correct. And they are still for your safety. Okay. All right. Because Thank you. You will be affected by some world events. I have another question. Yes. I wanted to ask what being the cat we were speaking of was before she was this cat. But she asked me to keep her when she was a kitten. It's so hard for me to hear you. She's saying she wants to know who the being was that was the cat because she was asked when she was a kitten to keep her. Ah, the cat last life uh, was actually, um, let me see, one moment. I thought I saw that before. I have to connect with it to see if I can find out. It was a much larger animal, but it was an animal, but it was not a cat. It was a it looks like a, some kind of serpent. Interesting. Like a large serpent of some sort. That I get reading. But I don't sure. It, it could be an alligator, a serpent. It was a titty. April, are you there? You come yeah. back for a moment. Yeah. Can you come back for a moment? Ah, oh, there you are. It look appears to be some kind of reptile in its last life. It has From an attitude earth? of a reptile. From Does that make earth? sense to you? Yes, from the earth. No, Does I that make understand. sense? I don't understand. Me? I don't understand what you mean. Okay. It just was in the last life. It was not a, a cat. It was some kind of other reptilian animal of some sort. May not have been a what mean you? one or a, anything like that, but it, all I can see is reptilian. It looks like maybe a snake or a, a, you're off the air. Oh. It went off the air. It's it, it's gone off air. You're still in the room, but it's yeah. it's gone off air. It kicked me what? out. It kicked me out again. So all right. I don't know what's happening? It's all right. Um yeah. something is there stopping information from yeah. coming. That people, is had, all right. people had some but trouble I, getting in the room and things as well. I would I wanted to explain to April that it didn't seem like a very not a foul reptilian, but in the past life, there was a reptilian presence 
around that particular. It was a reptilian of some sort. Can I ask a question? Yes. Thank you. Got a vision of it. One moment. Yes. No. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. I got a vision of a pyramid with the eye on No one can hear you. I just wanted to know if that's something that we can talk about. She got a vision of a pyramid with an eye on it and wanted to know if we could talk about it. And what did you want to know about it? Like what, what is it like? It is the all-seeing eye that is on the dollar bill. God would be the all-seeing eye. And the pyramid would be a representation of the power. But I do not know what else you want to talk about. Isn't it the Illuminati? Yes, that is the Illuminati. So, yes, that is a symbol of the Illuminati, yes. I do not know why you got the vision, but I can tell you about it a little, but it is all right. I think it's time for me to go. Much love to many of you, to all of you, in fact. I love you dearly, and I wish that Elijah's message would have maintained a full status. Yes, and yours as well. But we will talk later. Have a wonderful day. Much love. Much love. Okie dokie. Hello? Welcome back, Jim. Karen got kicked out again. <laughs> uh, hey, Jim. So, it's all good. Wow. How are you doing? I, there, the energy is strong today. Uh, I, it, I'm getting bombarded by energy, but um, there you are. She's back. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> It's time for final blessings. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do a blessing. Yes. I think I need to uh, uh, clear some energy, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sholia kasantia masholia tika shanda miya shoko farakyasa ni doria malalega kinta ushuma tisaka ialakafa ni ora bakaliasi koshundu Iti amala tukuya ikasa tombala kati ufadia midali rekosisha la manena orach iala kase di faraya mandala igashano mam yakata dima. Let the air be clear. Let light fill all rooms. Let everyone feel the energy of positivity. Let it be that this is a positive time and that negativity cannot stretch through or creep through in any way. No tricksters and no one to harm you. Let this time now become greater. The brightness continue and swell. Know that you are loved and this day is blessed. Thank you for your love and understanding. Thank you. And Omran had a blessing, and then I believe someone in your room as well. Okay. Much love and gratitude to everyone. Yes. Halahimi nihia hua mana, anahia na hua ana. Nahalimi ni anahum, ni lihia sazu huaza, arazim ni zira ha nuhum, niri kaza, uramna. Let the power of each of our missions show itself to us so that we may move forward in a way that is complete and understanding, wise and powerful. I know that there are many of you that are still looking, but you will find if you seek. Let it be. 
Thank you. And was it Barbara in your room that had a blessing? Barbara? Yes, she's coming. No, there's something else coming. Thank you. Okay, go ahead. Just let it flow. If there had been time, we would have come through, but there was not enough, and the messages that were before us were much more important. However, we want to share that we will come again and we will show you the healing techniques of the Octorian people once again. It is important that you learn how to do this eventually. Mm. Thank okay. you very much. All righty. All right. Well, have we don't really day. have to official uh, sign off, but have a wonderful day. Are you going to all lunch? Remember yes, so, yes. Some of us are going to lunch. Nice. I'm not sure how many, but some of us. Are you going to lunch with us? Yeah, so close to you. Yay, wonderful. Yay, Yay. Yay. I think we have the whole I'm not group. going to lunch, but I think it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank All you, right. everybody, and love you very much. Love you, too. Thank Namaste, you. everyone. Blessings. Right. Bye-bye.